next we are going to see the in function that's uh, you know again copy this same let, let, yeah let's copy the first line because it stays the same we are still using the same uh, structure so I can execute it I get this data now I want to see employee name uh, or details where it's 1 and 10 right so there are two ways to write this one it will be well I'd normally say where employee number is equal to 1 and employee number is equal to 10 right if I close this I should get those two records oh no what's happening here employee number is equal to 1 and let's see or if I say or it should give me those two not the and function the reason is because uh, it will check the condition against one it, if it's true like it will check one by one against all of them it will say um, record one if it's the record one it shows it then record two it does not it's not either uh, two it, it will go and check against this this one it's not two as well it will go to three record three is not one record three is not ten all the way so on until it hits ten at ten it's not one but it's ten so it lists this and keeps going on to all the way to the sixteenth and then terminate this is one way of writing it the other one is in so again we can copy most part here that saves us time by now you should know why I'm copying this and all that <coughs> So where employee number and rather than use is equal to and all those function I can put in bracket one comma ten close. Now odd from this database if I were to run the select star just the first one this one and I execute it I have you can see I have sixteen. 16 uh, records using this I should only get the 1 and 10 execute and I got 1 and 10 right so this is how you use the in command